Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, Mr. Borofsky. Thank you again for your testimony. Uh, we've seen a good bit of you as of late here in, on financial services as well, which uh, I'm a member of. Thank you for your frank and honest testimony. Um, you know, let's, let's rewind a little bit. Um, and I know the ranking member had some questions about who you interviewed in that whole process. Um, but it's clear you, you did not interview Secretary Geithner as a you know, our, my audit team interviewed Secretary Geithner uh, on, a, on a number of different audits. Um, I don't believe that they asked questions about this specific issue during that interview. Okay. Uh, did, did, uh, did your investigators um, interview Sarah Dahlgren, who, is the, uh, who was uh, Geithner's top bank supervisor at the New York Fed? Yes, we did. Yes. Extensively. Okay. Uh, were any questions posed to her whether or not her boss was informed of this? Yes. Uh, she informed us that she had not informed uh, then President Geithner. Okay. As head of the New York, then President of the New York Fed, yes. uh, Geithner. Um, was the Treasury staff, did they report that they uh, uh, provided then Secretary Geithner with this information? Not until March 10th. Not until March 10th. Okay. So it seems either a colossal failure of administration uh, through either error or omission uh, or willful ignorance in, in some cases. Um, and it seems to me that Secretary Geithner um, is a pivotal player here as both the head of the New York Fed, which had direct action, is that correct, with, yeah. with the AIG um, bailout in the fall of last year? That's correct. That's correct. And he was a key decision maker um, in the uh, winter, in spring of this year, uh, about the AIG bonuses as well. Is that correct? Um, yes. He was clearly, from the, the time at the president of FORBNY, there was a brief period of time where he recused himself from mm -hmm. matters from after uh, then President elect Obama identified him as the, the future Secretary of Treasury until he became Secretary of Treasury. He had recused himself from some of those matters. But other than that window, basically from September until the president, until the present, in one job or the other, uh, he was the head of an organization that was involved in, in the ballot of AIG. Okay. Um, and uh, according to your report, um, the Treasury failed in its oversight of AIG compensation generally. Is that true? That's correct. Okay. Um, so it's kind of interesting to me, uh, as a part of an oversight panel, that we have, as Secretary of the Treasury, uh, someone who not only failed in his oversight uh, and actions about the bonuses as Secretary of the Treasury, but in his job immediately before that, and he did recuse himself uh, as of November 24th when the president nominated him, you're correct. But it also seems to me that he failed as head of the New York Fed uh, in terms of having oversight of this. In fact, it, these bonuses and the re these retention payments were a matter of public disclosure to the SEC uh, by, uh, by AIG. So it was in the public purview by then, was it not? I mean, yes, and I think much like if anything goes wrong in my organization, I'm responsible and it's my failure. Um, since we are criticizing both the Federal Reserve and the Treasury for failures of communication, management, and oversight, uh, of course, he's ultimately responsible. Certainly. Well, I appreciate your frank, uh, frank testimony there. Um, and you've been a straight shooter all along, um, it, which I don't think is it's not a partisan issue. I mean, it, both parties are involved in this uh, chaos, it seems to me. Uh, but uh, additionally, you have uh, oversight over the PAYSAR, the, the Special Master uh, for Compensation, Ken Feinberg's operation. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, their operation in terms of, uh, uh, of reworking these retention bonuses, could that have a negative impact on the government's repayment of, of uh, funds from AIG? Uh, it is it is possible. Um, one could envision a scenario that if there really is one person who's so so important, so vital to unwinding these transactions, and has such a level of information, and a decision is made that results in that person leaving, uh, it is theoretically possible. Now, whether those facts are true or whether it will play out that way, I I don't know. I'm not in a position to say, but it is certainly at least theoretically possible. 
Does your office uh, have a plan uh, for oversight uh, of this uh, PAYSAR and their operations? We have a number of audits under consideration as we staff up. Uh, one of them that I've certainly have discussed with my audit staff is will be an audit of the uh, of the PAYSAR. We're, we're not announcing it yet. We want to sort of see what happens, uh, and that way we can better structure the audit, make sure that we ask the right questions and, and, and do it in a correct way. Uh, but I do anticipate that we will be auditing that process almost certainly. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your testimony.